Hey guys, I want to do a little watch collecting rant because we hear a lot of talk about what kind of watches you should collect, how many watches you should have. Um, and you know, it's a very nice thing that people talk about their collections and stuff because you can, uh, you can get inspired by other people, by watches other people have. And, um, and the main thing is that, that you should never copy other people. You should never copy other collections because yeah, watch collecting is really about finding out what you like, what kind of watches you like, how big a collection you are comfortable with. So what is the kind of collection that you can enjoy? I think that's, that's watch collecting about. And you know, everybody is just so different. Uh, everybody has different tastes, different preferences, different tolerances, and um, that's why when I watch, uh, you know, videos about watches or or watch photos on Instagram, you know, I follow quite a few people on Instagram and YouTube, and I really enjoy watching watch videos. And in the beginning, I, you know. I think unconsciously, but I copied other people. So I had watches because others had it and because others said, it's oh, it's so awesome, it's so iconic. And I was like, yeah, okay, I had to have it. But you know, everybody is different. And, and there are people who have all kinds of watches like divers, f um, field watches, dress watches, fliegers, they have different uh, brands. They have a big collection and they are happy they are happy with with it and it, that's awesome you know there are people who collect the the most awesome seikos you know from the sks to the mm300 you they have everything and and that's awesome you know and there are also people who who um who, who will be, who are stressed out if they have a big collection if they have many watches if they have watches they don't wear they they just get stressed, stressed out they they get anxiety as jeffrey mcmahon always says it in his videos yeah i love that guy i love watching that guy jeffrey mcmahon yeah and also the urban gentry and yeah other channels felix love watches and others yeah so I'm kind of a guy who cannot have a big collection. So I used to have a lot more watches. Right now, that's all I have. That's my entire collection. And these two, the Vostok and the G-Shock, they don't even count. And the reason is that the Vostok is a very fun watch, but I never wear it and I only keep it because my daughters like it. So one day, at least my oldest daughter, she wants to have it and that's why I keep it. That's the only reason. I like how it looks, but I never ever wear it. The G-Shock, you know, I just have to have a G-Shock. It's radio controlled. When it gets the signal, it's always accurate. And it's solar when I have to do some, some physical uh, work where I wouldn't wear all these other nice watches. I wear the G-Shock. So the G-Shock is really, it's, it's a tool. So it's not part of my collection, if you what I mean, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So these two are out of the picture. Okay, they don't count. And all I have are these watches. Five cycles. Now, why don't I have anything else like Orient Citizen? Uh, I used to have, and I have sold everything, everything that is not Seiko and. I must say I'm not missing any watches except one. I will talk about it in a few minutes. But yeah, I'm not missing my Orient Tritone, my Citizen NY0040 and different versions of it. Uh, I'm not missing my Seiko Flighty. I'm not missing my Se Seiko SUR Quartz dress watches. Or, and I'm also not missing my uh, vintage um, what was that? 7548 Seiko Diver. And you know, there are people who, who collect vintage watches, vintage Seikos, and they love them. And it's, it's very lovely, it's, it's great. 
but the thing is that for some reason I can only wear Seiko divers. That's all that's sticked over the years, Seiko divers. Again, I ha I had I used to have awesome Orient watches. I had the Orient um was that the Kamasu, the the uh red dial Kamasu. I had the Triton. I had awesome citizens. I had some other Seikos which were not divers. Some of them were but but I also had some solar divers and they were all gone. I mean they are all gone. And I'm very happy with, with this small collection and the only quartz is the tuna. I have no solar watches and some time ago I, I you know I was complaining in some of my videos that yeah, that yeah I have had enough of automatic watches but yeah it turned out to be just a phase it's gone it's over I love automatic watches I love my automatic cycles also I love my tuna and um yeah, so the point is that I only, I can only have as many watches as, as many I actually wear. So I had a big watch box for 10 watches and I had more than 10 watches. And I, yeah, I sold everything except these and I sold a big watch box because, you know, I had like the, the uh, Seiko Flighty and others which I just had because, ooh, they are so cool, uh, they are discontinued. I just have to have them because somebody else has them and somebody else said that they are that you have to have them and yeah I realized you know I have I have to I have to accept the kind of collection I enjoy and I know that I am only happy with a small collection only with watches I actually do wear and I am only happy with Seiko divers and I mentioned that there is one watch I have sold and I am missing and I, I am going to rebuy it. So I had the, I used to have a Citizen BN0151, the blue Eco Drive Diver, which is such a loom monster. And I sold it. And actually what I want to rebuy is the black version of that. So the BN0151. No, sorry, BNO, uh, what's that? BNO150, yeah. So the black uh, Citizen Eco Drive di Diver. I'm gonna buy that watch sooner or later because, yeah, I, I'm a black watch face, watch dial guy. So all my watches are black except for the Blumo. And yeah, really, the Blumo is my only watch which isn't black. But, yeah, I just like the blue of the blue moon. I just like it very much. So, you know, I am, yeah, so I, I don't want ver ver variety. Yeah, variety. I don't want variety. I don't want different brands. I don't want different styles. I don't want different colors. What I want is black Seiko divers. Again, Blue Mo exception, and I love it. And what I want to have is a black Captain Willard, the SPB 151. That's what I'm, I really want to have. Maybe an MM300 sometime in the future, but what I want to have is a Willard, and then I will have six Seikos. And I really don't desire to have anything anything else you know again i i don't wanna try other watches other styles other brands okay i wanna have a scorfa a scorfa diver one at some point but 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 again that's also an exception yeah i think that's it that's it i'm very happy with a small collection i can only have as many watches as many as can as I can actually wear and I am very unhappy if I have too many watches so yeah I'm happy with a small collection I'm happy with black dial cycle divers
that's it thanks for watching and goodbye